Hypothermia is the open water swimmer's biggest real danger, especially if you are not acclimated to waters with low temperature. The definition of hypothermia is when the core body temperature drops below 96 degrees. Swimming in any water colder than 72 degrees will cause hypothermia after a while. In severe cases of hypothermia, a swimmer can lose consciousness and drown. That's why it is important to know the warning signs and the order in which they occur. The first signs of hypothermia are numb feet, feeling warm, slurred speech due to cold jaw muscles, and what we call the claw, which is really the muscles of the hand tightening, making it difficult to keep your fingers straight. Most open water swimmers experience these symptoms on a regular basis. It is part of the sport. As moderate hypothermia sets in, the swimmer gets colder and will experience disorientation, sleepiness, and will start to swallow large amounts of water. A swimmer experiencing any of these symptoms should be pulled out of the water immediately and taken to a place where they can warm up. Severe hypothermia starts with a feeling of euphoria. There is no fear. The water feels warm. The swimmer simply gives up or becomes unconscious and drowns. Wearing a wetsuit is one way to lessen the effects of hypothermia. Number one, become acclimated to the cold water. You can only do this by experience. Start with 15 minutes at a time and work your way up from there. The cold water makes it harder to breathe, so make sure that you have surplus aerobic capacity. Always wear a cap and earplugs to protect your head. Your brain is a computer that controls everything, so it is important to keep it warm. Technically, you lose more heat through movement, but moving your muscles generates heat and makes you feel warmer. Even after all these years, I still get cold sometimes if I haven't had enough sleep. It can lower your time in the water by almost 25%. Try not to lose too much heat before you enter the water. Use warm clothing or warm liquid. The same is true for getting warm after a swim. Use the power of your mind. Don't concentrate on the cold. Think positive, warm thoughts. With very few exceptions, lean people have a harder time staying in the water. The Alcatraz swims are probably no problem for even the leanest people. But without some extra body fat, longer swims are probably out of the question. Even though it makes you feel warm inside, alcohol will lower your resistance to the cold water. Nothing will take away your heat faster than anxiety. With experience comes confidence. <laughs>